please click subscribe in the top right corner. It won't interrupt this video, and maybe one day I can be king. Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk about the importance of exfoliating your skin. Just in general, for healthy skin, glowy, beautiful skin that doesn't break out and just it's a way of like skin is always eliminating itself and regenerating new skin and if you don't get rid of that you know top layer of dead skin it's hard for new you know beautiful skin to grow in its place okay so the first thing I like to do on, on a day that I am going to tan or the day before I like to exfoliate the whole body we should do this at least once a week so I, what I like to do is add a little bit of body wash onto the loofah, get it, make sure that it's wet before, um, scrub the back really well, scrub the arms, the, the top of the arms, any area that does tend to get sweatier just because you want to remove all oils of the body um, in order to get the perfect, most even, sunless self-tan. These are good too for more sensitive areas, say like the neck, I wouldn't use this on the face. Just areas that don't necessarily see sun and are a little more delicate. After you've done that, I like to do a like sugar scrub. You can even make your own sugar scrub at home by actually using like granules of brown sugar and honey and just whatever. Like there's so many recipes online, like anything like that. Uh, the one that I'm currently using is this one by The Body Shop and it's the mango scented one and it just kind of looks like that. So you just kind of grab a bit and you just scrub in the area that you are trying to exfoliate. So after that, once you get out of the shower, rinse off, towel off, then I like to moisturize just because you've shed off all the dead skin cells and now you want to hydrate the new skin which is exposed. And this is the same one, also by The Body Shop in the mango scented. And it smells amazing. It smells like delicious mango yogurt. So, and it's pretty thick consistency, which is really nice and doesn't leave the skin sticky at all in any way. So, always concentrating on the elbows, on the knees, always on the hands, hands and feet. And obviously on your legs and stuff, just because you don't want premature aging of knees or any of that. Another thing that I like to do overnight, say I'm showering at night and I'm doing the whole exfoliating thing, I like to add a lot of this, the mango body butter to my hands and to my feet and a lot to my knees. And then I like to wear socks and gloves even. Um, this is more for the winter obviously. But just to make sure that you don't rub any of that on your face or just all over your sheets and then you no longer have it on your hands. Um, you will wake up with the most silky hands and your cuticles will be soft and healthy and you'll notice that your nails even like grow up so much nicer. So it's really really good idea. Obviously you don't need to do that every night, but especially in the winter when your skin tends to go drier anyway, that's a great thing to do, especially on your feet. You don't want spring to <laughs> arrive or summer and your feet are dry and flaky and cracked. So you want to have your feet ready always for any chance you have to wear sandals. Please take all these tips, try them out, and let me know how they work for you. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to watch my new video every Monday.